Your Country 1039, KGRT, Miss Miranda Lambert, and Wide Liar. Yes, that's right. It is indeed question of the daytime. And of course, your question of the day brought to you by the Farmers and Crafts Market of Las Cruces. Fresh produce, bread, meat, honey, food trucks, handmade art, music, and more. A lot more, actually. Every Saturday and Wednesday, 8.30 to 1 o'clock, downtown Las Cruces. Got to check it out. It's a whole lot of fun. Well, my friends, it is a big weekend. So many different things are going on. I mean, we have to worry about daylight savings time. The Oscars are going on this weekend. In fact, uh, that means that if the Oscars are happening, then the Razzies are happening as well. That's right. The 44th annual Razzies celebrating the best in the worst that uh, Hollywood has to offer. In fact, uh, after strikes, lingerings of worldwide plague, and uh, general sense of universal agoraphobia, nobody wants to leave the house, uh, the decline of the cinematic experience goes without saying. And thankfully, you know, we do have the Razzies to go ahead and uh, help things, uh, uh, you know, pick them up, get them a little bit better. Basically, if you've never heard of that, they are literally the awards for some of the worst movies that are out there for the past year, the opposite of the Oscars, if you will. And uh, some of the pictures nominated for the worst picture of the year category, The Exorcist Believer, yep. Expendables 4 or Expend 4 Bless, that's how you found it, put it in there. Meg 2, that one was harsh. Shazam Fury of the Gods and Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Yes, that's right, they turned Winnie the Pooh into a, uh, a bad, bad thing, bad thing. But those are uh, some of uh, what they think are the worst movies of this last year in the Razzies. Who knows what's going to take home the, the Razzie? My bet is that if, if Winnie the Pooh doesn't win for worst movie of the year, then there's something wrong with the world. But what about you? If you've seen some movies, you know, watching them at home, streaming them online or anything else, what would you say would be the worst movie that you have seen this last year? Let me know your answers for our question of the day. 575-523-KGRT. That's 575-523-5478. What is the worst movie that you have seen this last year? Yeah, something that could have won a Razzie this weekend. Go ahead and let me know your answers. Uh, also, we are live on our social media pages. In fact, we do a little extra on there as well. So uh, you can leave your comments down below on those pages, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, once again, call or text them in, 575-523-KGRT. Let me know your answers for our question of the day, what is the worst movie that you have seen this last year? I forgot to hit that button. <laughs> okay. We are uh, exclusively up on our social media pages right now. So uh, absolutely. Let me know. What do you think is the worst movie that you have seen this last year? It could have been something you've watched on a, a streaming platform. Maybe it was a TV movie. Maybe it was a, uh, one of your favorite worst movies that you like to watch every year. I don't know. But what was the worst movie that you have seen last year? In honor of the Razzies going on this weekend, celebrating uh, the worst that Hollywood has to offer. So uh, go ahead and let me know uh, your answers. In the meantime, we'll take a look at what's going on in and around the world. It looks like uh, Disney has sold out ad space for the uh, Oscar telecast on ABC. They raked in about $120 million. Not too bad. Um, maybe if we get back to uh, good movies, they could actually make that stuff uh, while making movies. I'm just saying, Disney. I'm just saying. Uh, the Academy Awards will feature a red carpet again. Last year, the organizer switched to the color champagne, but, you, you know, you got to keep the classics. got to keep the red carpet in there. And this is going to be interesting. Mike Tyson apparently will face Jake Paul in a boxing match on July 20th on Netflix. The match will take place at AT&T Stadium in Dallas. If you're uh, trying to figure out which round uh, that uh, Jake Paul is going to go out in, you know, you're always good for the first or second round with Mike, right? In this case in particular, I think it would be about first or second round. I uh, also uh, saw that Amazon founder Jeff Bezos recently lost his title as the world's richest person to Bernard Alnart. Now, if you haven't heard that name, Bernard is the CEO of Louis Vuitton and his net worth is 197 billion dollars yeah and just because you know japan is always awesome 
Domino's Pizza in Japan are celebrating cherry blossom season with the Sakura Pizza. Yeah, the pie is topped with condensed milk, strawberry-flavored tapioca balls, Sakura-flavored chocolate, and cheese. So, um, cherry cheese Danish, maybe? Is that what that is? That's what it sounds like, anyway. <laughs> At least that's what it sounds like to me. Once again, uh, we are looking for answers for our question of the day. What is the worst movie that you have seen this last year? All in honor of the Oscars and, of course, the Razzies that are going to be this week weekend. The Razzies celebrating the best of the worst that Hollywood has to offer in the past year. So what was the worst movie that you've seen this last year? doesn't even have to be a movie that came out in the theaters if it's something that you happen to watch on Hallmark Channel this year. <clears throat> I'm not saying anything. Uh also, it uh, could have been, uh, you know, something that you watched on streaming. Whatever it is, what is the worst movie that you have seen this last year? Go ahead and let me know your answers for our question of the day.